ओम शांति सेवेंटींथ ऑक्टोबर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी अव्यक्त मुरली वॉट इज द डिफरेंस इन जस्ट पासिंग एंड पासिंग विथ ऑनर टू पास विथ ऑनर मीन्स दैट यू डू नॉट एक्सपीरियंस पनिशमेंट इन योर माइंड इवन थ्रू योर थॉट्स द क्वेश्चन ऑफ पनिशमेंट फ्रॉम धर्मराज इज समथिंग फार लेटर हाउ एवर You should be free from the complications of even your own thoughts. That is, to be beyond that punishment. This is called pass with honor. So this mudli is of 17th October 1970. Baba is saying, what is the difference in just passing and passing with honor? To pass with honor means. You do not experience punishment in even in your mind, even through your thoughts. The puni- the question of punishment from Dhamaraj is something far later. However, you should be free from the complications of even your own thoughts. So, passing with honor means not experiencing punishment even through mind. There shouldn't be even complications of thoughts. that is to be beyond that punishment this is known as passing with honor so there are two things one is passing another is passing with honor to come out with flying colors that is to pass with honor all those souls who pass with honor they will not have experience of punishments but which punishment baba is talking here mental punishment in psychology these are known as psychological punishment or a step ahead psychological torture so when we talk of mental punishments what do you mean what are mental punishments bad feelings okay then what is to experience mental punishment loss of concentration lot of fear waste thoughts then hmm confusion loss of control over oh mind then mental punishments there is one is corporeal punishment physical punishment another is mental punishment you know in india mostly in olden days suppose in one particular village somebody has committed certain sin they would parade that person on donkey they would garland that person with a garland of footwear sometimes they will shave total shearing of hair so suppose a woman is there and she has committed certain crime she is made to undergo such humiliation physical as well as mental suppose a person whose hair are cut off that itself is a humiliation but so long as new hairs come that thing will keep on reminding that person of that humiliation so most of the time even physical punishments they leave a mark on mind so physical torture also is sort of mental torture here baba is talking about mental torture so we can make a list of mental tortures what mental tortures are going to happen and what should we do so that those mental tortures will not come to us so if you think of making a list few of the points you already told but just for the sake of list we will take one by one few points 
the first one is where one develops what you know what is known as guilt guilt feeling that is a sort of mental torture the feeling of having done something wrong it also includes repentance it also may lead to self hatred and to the extent of self torture not just self hatred self torture you must have heard of two terminologies in psychology masochism and sadism sadist and masochist sadist is a person who inflicts pain on others and experiences joy happiness you torture others and you experience peace stalin hitler mussolini so many are there they inflicted pain on others and they experienced peace there is another person they are known as masochist masochist are those people they inflict pain on themselves and experience happiness that can take the form of religion also some person is there he is keeping fast he is torturing himself that itself is a sort of religious masochism because when you do this you attract attention you become famous so that may be the ulterior motive behind that but there is something one person is inflicting pain another person is taking pain now the person who inflicts pain on others sadist that is one group second group this is more dangerous this is more dangerous you inflict pain on yourself self torture and it becomes a habit to take sorrow and you start relishing it enjoying it soon so it's sort of pain addiction if you don't get pain you feel restless this is a strange psychology 10 people come and praise you you forget one person comes and starts abusing you you can't sleep whole night you keep on thinking about it whole day whole night why why so much attraction for pain why we want that is it something that we want that there is a professor the story of a professor before starting his every class he comes and narrates what his wife did to him how she humiliated him how she misbehaved ill treated him every time he tells this some of the students get interested they really want to find out what this his wife is doing and they find out yes it's really like that she is sadist she is sadist she beats him but they also found out other thing that he enjoys it that is why before every class he is telling that same story somewhere he has developed a liking for that this is an ex- absolutely a strange story but this is fact just imagine if everybody talks nicely with us for 10 days everything is going well in life all of a sudden some restlessness arises as if we want somebody to do something wrong to us so masochism and sadism here baba is talking about punishments which punishments mental punishments so one of them is guilt now this guilt leading to repentance contrition in christianity there is a word which is known by the word contrite spirit contrition means where you repent but you keep on repenting 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 you never get over it the whole life is spent in repentance compunction this feeling of having done something wrong i have done something wrong i have done something wrong just as 
here you are taught to forgive those souls who have done wrong to you you should also learn to forgive yourself don't be so harsh to yourself we tell others don't be harsh to others those who have done wrong to you why you are so harsh to yourself why we are so harsh to ourselves learn to forgive your own wrong doings you have done wrong it's okay because the level of awareness was less at that time now the level has increased it is the question of less awareness and more awareness it is the question it is not the question of darkness and light so mr vivekananda has said in one of his lectures we do not go from darkness to light we do not progress from darkness to light we go from lesser light to higher light probably you were in lesser light that time that is why that mistake occurred that is why you committed that blunder that is why you couldn't stop yourself from doing that now your awareness has increased so there is no question of committing that mistake again but yes if you keep on remembering that everything will may come back old memories i will give you homework for today a very good homework how to forget old memories and how to create new memories how to forget old memories and how to create new memories i am not using the word sanskars which is usually used i am using word memories how to delete past memories and how to create new memories even creation creativity is more important than forgetting create new memories so you can do a lot of journeying on this topic today so punishments so first is guilt we have to get rid of this guilt feeling aparadh bhav second is punishment of mind depression second is loss of interest second is loss of enthusiasm second is loss of that zeal that zest that verve that energy everything is lost life is totally sapless no energy we don't feel as if totally dead shriveled up as if the spirit is ironed that stage of the mind total loss of energy total loss of enthusiasm absolute depression such despondent state is also punishment of the mind third of third stage is stress stress and tension full of tension we need to identify what are my stressors physiological stressors biological stressors physical stressors environmental stressors situational stressors in psychology they talk of two types of personality first is circumstantial personality and second is substantial personality circumstantial personality means the person who gets affected by outside atmosphere on and off if things are good you are okay if things have gone bad everything goes topsy turvy in your internal world so that is circumstantial personality another is substantial personality immovable unshakable stage achal adol what baba says no matter what the situation is no matter what the environment is bringing to you no matter your what physical malady you have got you remain smiling in avyakta murli of 31st december 19 2016 baba has said no matter how much pain you have got your face should remain smiling but that's an art art of smiling in the face of physical ailments that is the second topic for today you can do churning on this topic how to smile when there is a physical pain actually we are going to discuss this topic tomorrow also because out of those 12 questions which are made on the that mudli this is one of the questions how to smile how to keep smiling in face of elements physical maladies diseases another is uncontrolled negative and uncontrolled waste thoughts 
that is a sort of mental punishment psychological punishment this is uncontrolled waste thoughts you don't want waste thoughts to happen but they are coming quite in spite of yourself uncontrolled waste thoughts uncontrolled negative thoughts you don't want to think negative about a particular person because you have been told that you have to have pure feelings and good wishes for everyone but in spite of that to have negative thoughts about particular person in spite of that to think continuously negative about the situation in spite of that to continuously guess and conjecture inside the mind about what is going to happen that has not happened but you are thinking that it might happen you are thinking that yes these people are against me they are plotting and planning against me they are plotting out some scheme against me this is itself a punishment uncontrolled unbridled negative and waste thoughts next is uncontrolled vicious thoughts this is the greatest form of punishment vikari vichar sankalp uncontrolled on one side you are practicing self respect i am supremely pure soul i am supremely pure soul i am supremely pure soul on one side is the practice of self respect on another side suddenly this gush of thoughts suddenly this tsunami of vicious thoughts and everything is as if capsized drowned all the homes all the villages which you had created of pure thoughts good wishes self respect everything is washed off this gush of negativity this gush of waste this gush of vicious thoughts probably they were lying somewhere within they have not come out of blue you say that you were leading a very good life you say that you were leading a very pure life and there is not a trace of impurity within but where from a bolt from the blue has come probably it was there in the seed form and the moment it gets water in sunday's murli baba has said awareness that is the sunlight awareness that is the water and thought of transformation that is the seed in the similar manner thought of vice thought of vice thought of lust sanskar of lust if such a sanskar gets a trigger from outside that becomes a water and that becomes a sunlight for that thought for that seed and that seed comes out and it becomes a tree first a sapling then a big tree then a banyan tree and you fall down so uncontrolled vicious thought uncontrolled waste thoughts stressful situations sorrowful situation contempt self contempt self hatred guilt inferiority complex poor me syndrome pms to blame oneself for everything a deep repentance baba has been telling time and again do this do that and we don't do that and then we have to repent a remorse a deep remorse we don't want that that is why pass with honor means not to experience even the mental punishment no sorrow no unhappiness no misery in the mind no repentance for anything we want this life to be a life of enjoyment baba has used the word maza in sunday's murli uh, in the 31st murli maza life of enjoyment and this is a life of punishment we are given two options what you want life of punishment or life of enjoyment life of super sensuous bliss life of happiness life of selfless service life of contentment life of divine bliss what we want that is in our hand your stage is in your hand 
मेरी अवस्था मेरे हाथ में है संडे थर्टी फर्स्ट मोटली माई स्टेज इज इन माई हैंड यस्टरडे इन अवर ओपीडी वन सिस्टर हेड कम शी वॉज आस्किंग मी वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्थिति एंड अवस्था बिकॉज इन इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन दे इज जस्ट राइट स्टेट बट वॉट इज स्टेज और स्टेट वॉट एवर सो यू कैन अगेन डू दिस इज द थर्ड टर्निंग पॉइंट फॉर टूडे वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्थिति एंड अवस्था इज देर एनी डिफरेंस और बोथ आर सेम इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन दे आर सेम बट हिंदी दे माइट बी सम डिफरेंस वॉट आई टोल्ड हर जस्ट एट द स्पर ऑफ दैट मोमेंट वॉट एवर केम टू माई माइंड प्रॉबेबली दैट नाइट नॉट माइट नॉट बी राइट आई जस्ट टोल्ड हर दैट स्थिति इज समथिंग हायर एंड देर आर मेनी अवस्थाज अवस्थाज आर मेनी स्थितिज वन यू गो थ्रू मेनी अवस्थाज एंड देन यू फॉर्म वन पावरफुल स्थिति दिस माइट बी रॉन्ग और इट माइट बी अदर वे अदर वे राउंड वॉट एवर सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट यू नो दीज आर द वेज यू चर्न द नॉलेज when you recognize subtle differences why baba used this word baba used that word what is the meaning of that what is the purport of that what is the deep significance of that what is the meaning of the word what is the meaning of the sentence what is the mystical meaning of that word gudarth bhavarth shabdarth vakyarth what is the meaning of the entire statement entire version so these are the different points you can churn on that so we should not experience mental punishment for that our mind should be free from mental punishment right now what is the punishment our the falling of our stage is mental punishment to lose interest in gyan and yoga is mental punishment to you lose interest in yoga is mental punishment not to have powerful yoga is a mental punishment to you to have conflicts in relationships is a mental punishment to you to have disharmony in relationships and connections is a mental punishment what we are speaking and what we are thinking they are not in sync with each other that is a mental punishment there is a disturbance in the feelings there is a disturbance in the emotions there is a emotional turmoil which is going on which is unsettled that is a mental punishment we want a tranquil state of the mind a very peaceful state of the mind i am a peaceful soul baba told to get situated in one second in om shanti embodiment of om shanti in one second om shanti